take two kids who live in the West Bank. They're both, say, 12 years old. And they've both been kind of naughty and they've been throwing stones. One of them, an Israeli kid who lives on a settlement, would be arrested the way our juvenile justice system is supposed to work. He's taken to a juvenile court with his parents being present. A lawyer is always present whenever he's questioned. The whole system is designed in the interest of the child. The other kid's a Palestinian kid whose family has lived in the neighboring village for 10, 15, 20 generations. They arrest him at 2 o'clock in the morning. He's taken away from his home. His parents are not told where he's being taken. He's taken inside Israel, out of the West Bank, and again in violation of international law, interrogated often in Hebrew, and for older kids, made to sign a confession written in Hebrew. There's no lawyer. And they are brought to court in a military justice system. Israel is the only country in the world that has a military juvenile detention system for children as young as 12. So you have two 12-year-olds doing the same thing in the same territory with the same government in charge and two entirely different systems affecting them. And the determination is based on religion, ethnicity, nationality, all the criteria of the UN covenants against racism.